Hi friends, all of us have seen the beauty of the night sky filled with lots of sparkling stars. They are so amazing, right? Have you ever heard of Newton stars? Or do you know what is it? Before moving on to the video, take a second to click the thumbs up button and share this video to your friends who will search for a Newton star in the night sky if you ask him or her what a Newton star is. Neutron stars are city-sized stellar objects with a mass of about 1.4 times that of Sun. Born from the explosive death of another larger stars, these tiny objects pack a quite a punch. Once the core of the star has completely burned to iron, energy production stops and the core rapidly collapses, squeezing electrons and protons together to form neutrons and neutrinos. The neutrinos easily escape the contacting core but the neutrons pack closer together until their density is equivalent to that of an atomic nucleus. At this point, neutrons occupy the smallest space possible and if the core is less than about 3 solar masses, they exert a pressure which is capable of supporting a star. For masses larger than this, even the pressure of neutrons cannot support the star against the gravity and it collapses into a stellar black hole. A star supported by a neutron degeneracy pressure is known as a neutron star. There are different types of neutron stars. Some neutron stars have jets of material streaming out of them at nearly the speed of light. As these beams pan past the earth, they flash like the bulb of a lighthouse. Scientists call them pulsar after their pulsing appearance. The average neutron star boasts a powerful magnetic field. Earth's magnetic field is around 1 Gauss and Sun's is around few hundred Gauss. Another type is magnetars. Magnetars have magnetic fields a thousand times stronger than average neutron star. I mean the neutron star with a very powerful magnetic field. The magnetic field is the strongest of any object known and is powerful enough to distort the shape of atoms. Can we see it? Neutron stars are so small that at typical distance they are 10 billion times fainter than you can see with your naked eye which is too faint for even Hubble Space Telescope. So we don't see it, but we detect its presence. So how scientists detect this? They can sometimes be detected by how their gravity affects more visible objects around them. By carefully plotting out the interaction of gravity between objects in space, astronomers can pinpoint the place where a neutron star or similar phenomena is located. The second method is through the detection of pulsar that we discussed before. So, next time, if anyone asks you about a neutron star, then don't blink. Fire them. I'm just kidding. Thank you for watching. See you soon.